the first step to swapping a C device with an ePort is to install the ePort device in your machine. Of course, if you haven't done so already, you'll need to uninstall the C device along with all the cables that go with it. Now, if you need help with the installation process, go to usatech.com and click the Need Help button at the top of the screen. There you'll find a whole library of videos available, including instructions for installing ePort hardware. If you encounter any trouble with the installation, you can call customer service at 888-561-4748. Once the device is installed and the machine is powered on, it should begin to report and send a DEX file to the server. If it doesn't do that within a few minutes, you may need to contact your account rep to make sure the back-end work has been done to enable the device to send the machine data to seed. If it has trouble DEXing the machine, our customer service team can help you troubleshoot those issues and get your device working properly. At this point, after you've verified the device and the machine are working as expected, you'll need to log into Seed on your computer and unlink the device from your asset. To do that, go to the Setup tab and click Devices in the menu. Click the Unlink Device from Machine button. Make sure your route dropdown is set to All. Then find the device serial number on the table. If your machine list is longer than a single page, click this All button to show the entire list. You can use your browser's Find function to search for the serial number. Just press Ctrl F on your keyboard and enter the serial number in the search field. The cursor will jump to the matching text. Click the word Unlink. On the next page, click Unlink Device. Now, the next part of this process is to link the ePort device to your asset. However, before you do that, you may need to unlink the device from an unassigned machine created by the server. When a telemetry device reports for the first time, the server will create a machine and link the device to it if this feature is turned on for your account. To verify this, we need to go to the machine list and look at any unassigned machines that may be shown on that page. Go to the Machine tab and click Machine List in the menu. We need to set the Show drop-down list to All. In the text filter, we will enter the word Unassigned and click Go. Now we just locate the serial number of the device installed in the machine. In this example, it's this one. Now if you don't see the device number in this list, that means the Auto Create feature is not enabled for your account. In that case, you can go directly to the machine to which you will link the device. We'll get to that screen in a moment. Right now, we'll click the Asset number to go to the Machine Detail page. From here, we click the Edit Machine Settings button. Scroll down to the Remote Telemetry Provider field and click the Change button here. Scroll back down and click anywhere on the provider line, then select the blank line at the top of the list. Next, you'll need to set this option to Offline Machine. Finally, click the Save button at the bottom of the page. The device is now unlinked from the asset. Let's go now to the machine where we are linking the device. You can jump to the asset quickly by searching for it with the search field here. Once again, on the Machine Detail page, click Edit Machine Settings and scroll down to the Remote Telemetry Provider field. Click the Change button, go back to the line, and select USA Tech from the menu. Scroll down again and click the drop-down for the Remote Telemetry ID field. In the list, find the serial number of the ePort device you're linking. Then click the line to drop it into the field. Click the Save button and you're all done. If you did not find the device in the telemetry ID list, that means the device has been unable, for whatever reason, to send data to seed. The first step to resolving the issue will be to contact customer service to help you investigate and correct the problem. If the device has been linked, you'll see the serial number in the sidebar here to verify that. Once it's linked, at the top of the page you'll see this connectivity alert icon. That means the device has not yet reported to this asset. The next time it reports and sends a DEX file, the planogram will be updated and the connectivity alert will disappear from the page. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this process or you need help with troubleshooting seed or ePort hardware, contact our customer service team at 888-561-4748 between the hours of 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern Time. If you need to order parts or accessories, you can do that online by going to www.store.usatech.com.